The verdict in one of Kerala's most anticipated cases is out. The Kota M additional sessions court has acquitted Bishop Frank Mulakal, clearing him of all charges in the Kerala non rape case. After 36 months of trial, Bishop Frank Mulakal was declared not guilty by the sessions court. The bishop was accused of allegedly raping a nun at a convent several times between 2014 and 2016. The case dates back to 2018 and the verdict comes as a big setback for the Save Our Sisters campaign. The three-year-long legal battle may now extend if the nun who accused the bishop of rape approaches the higher court. The nun had filed a complaint in 2018 after which several nuns from the convent protested against the bishop levelling allegations of sexual assault against him. The bishop who was present at the court for the hearing said, praise the Lord, quote-unquote, as he stepped out of the court in Kotayam. Uriculum Pradekshichur with here later. Amukaka and the sort of Jivika and Ula Sakajirium, Kuda the Bishani Lagi and Eur with Hilode. I caught the lake at the Gritum Sarkar than a Munutubogum and Nana E. Kesagunda appeal item Munutubogum and the Pradekshiki Giana, and the Lavkika Maya the English Vadino Vichitano. Ether Tiruler with Hilikat and the Enola Valare, Samsia Spadu, Keda Garumana. Yeah, this way, this is a, I am saying that the success of the truth, nothing more success. Uh, when, from the beginning onwards, it's a, we can see that it's a concocted case. It is a, uh, put up by the police officers and certain other uh, anti-national elements also biking there, and they were put up this case and uh, bringing the answer to attack the Christianity, not against the uh, uh, attack of that a particular uh, bishop. Just say, uh, there's a, uh, we can see that it's a, they want to uh, make a rift between uh, nun and bishop and nun and uh, priest. Shocking, criminal, atrocious. No matter what the court and the judges think of themselves, we need to understand that the systems and the structures of justice in India are patriarchal. They are not for women and they are not for victims and survivors of sexual abuse and assault. This acquittal is just another number where they are concerned. But like you mentioned, this woman, Sister Lucy, has come out against very strong structures like the church, like the state. And the state agencies and the church have connived together to put her down and see that there is no justice. So. Well, now that Bishop Frank Mulakil has been acquitted, what does this really mean? Here's what we know. This verdict comes as a big blow to save our sister's campaign. This verdict also means that the three-year-long legal battle may just get extended if the nun here can approach a higher court.